All right, so today let's talk about something that is a very sensitive topic for most gamers today. We're, we're, we're going to make a tier list, and it's pretty much going to be the top 10 games of all time. And now, you may say that this is opinionated, but in reality, this is the truth, and you should learn the truth and the facts about, <laughs> about gaming, all right? Okay? <laughs> Now, of course, this is opinionated, all right? Yes, yada, yada, oh, your stuff sucks, uh, whatever, all right? What I, what I enjoy playing and what you enjoy playing are two different things, but honestly, God honest truth, these are God tier games, ranked from one to 10. I'm going to go into more detail into some of these, and let me know if you want to see another podcast or even like a shorter vi video on like the rankings of these individual games because I have, I, have I have a couple of collections in, in in here versus like the you know just like the normal game like there's I can't really choose 100% out of all these games especially for, for, for the collections themselves if there's multiple ones that which one I actually like the most so I'm just going to go through all of them and we're going to talk about this best way we can all right first off I want you to understand that I made this list, and this is not a non-biased list. This is this, this this is just the facts. Okay, so you just have to understand that. All right, number one, we got Splatterhouse. Okay, I can guarantee you that most of you youngins probably don't even know what the hell this game is. Okay, and now when I say that, um, Splatterhouse uh, was a very old arcade game and very fun to play, but. I never really played it that much on the arcade version, but I did play it on the Xbox 360. And my God, beating the crap out of demons is more fun than playing Doom in Splatterhouse. So this 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 was for the Xbox 360. That's the version that I am referring to when I'm doing this podcast. You should know for a fact that um, Splatterhouse was um, one of the now. Nah, Eh, one of the first games. No, actually, I played Prototype first. Splatterhouse is one of the f more fun games that I played that was more of like a beat the crap out of your enemy using only your fists. Uh, Hulk Ultimate Destruction was something there, but we'll we'll get to that in just a second, all right? But not only do I like shooter games, I also like to beat the crap out of other beings f physically. I swear I'm not psychotic. Maybe a little bit. Just a tad. Just a little bit. Okay, maybe a lot. Anyway, um, I... <laughs> Splatterhouse is for 360. It was very fun. It was one of the most fun games on the planet. Let's look up a video, see if they have something quick for it. Um, Splatterhouse. That's how you spell that. Xbox 360 gameplay. So we'll get we'll get to that we'll get to that. Come on, this is a full game. Um, let's just do this. I think this is like an intro clip, most likely. Good to finally be free. This is when the guy, the kid, puts the mask on. Come on. Oh wait, this is already like oh in the middle of. Sorry. He's you're pretty much going after your girlfriend Je Jenny. The this mask is like a god that's trapped in a mask, I believe, and you put him on. And you uh, pretty much, you pretty much end up becoming like a god almost. So he's like going over to it, grabbing the, you know, the, the mask itself, and then and then he puts it on. The animations in this are actually really good too. I I, I must say. This this is the intro. Then he starts to he starts to change. The currency in this game is blood, just FYI too. Did I say it was gonna be fun? You're gonna have to learn to love the pain. There's a lot more of it to come. What have you done to me? What am I? What am I? You're mine, Rick. Jen. Until Jen's back safe in your arms, you're mine. Yep. 
This this was a very very Things fun game. Let's see if we get into some Satan's gameplay. Satan's mask. It's been too long, and I'm way out of practice. And th this is like your ultimate form too. Like this game is just destructive. This is just amazing game. This is so much fun. Just going through it, especially in this mode. This is like an infinite type of mode right right now. But like you only have this mode, you know, sparingly throughout the game. But you still can get it a lot if you beat the crap out of things. But you're you like you see that little meat meter on, on the left there. That's like how much blood you collect by killing an enemies. It's so great. And then, and then you have finishers and stuff like that that you can kill them and get more blood for it. Um, but. This is a very, like, arcade-style type of game, and it's very, very fun. I, I totally recommend it if you have a 360. If you don't, then get, get, get out of my video. I'm just kidding. I don't really know. <laughs> like, look at how destructive it is. It's so much fun. Anyway, next up on the tier list, we have Hulk Ultimate Destruction. See, I told you we, we, we would get into this. So, number two, Hulk Ultimate Destruction. Very similar to Splatterhouse, but more of an open world type of scenario. Sp Splatterhouse is more of like you go from place to place and just kind of fight things in like an arena. So, um, if you haven't played Hulk Ultimate Destruction, I do recommend this as well. I really wanted Radical Entertainment to remake this this game, but they haven't. And I mean, they also are in charge of Prototype as well, which is also on, on, on this list, but we'll get into that too. Um... This is a very, like, weaponizable, free roam type of game where you could just go on rampages without any real, uh, like, repercussions, really. But there, there's, like, Hulkbusters and stuff like that. The military comes after you, things of that nature. Uh, but let, 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 let me see if I can find something here, too. Hulk Ultimate Destruction. If you haven't been able to play, play this game, I, I definitely recommend it as well. Um, let's see if there's, this is on Xbox. Graphics aren't amazing. It's, it was on like Xbox and like PlayStation, you know, so it really wasn't like that amazing. Um, let me, let me see. You can pick up cars. You can throw cars at people. You can like catch rockets. You can... Uh, weaponize helicopters and rockets and you can weaponize, you know, people. You can pretty much weaponize a anything. You do some crazy shit with, with like, picking pe pe people up, kicking them across the floor. It's, it was so much. This was like a game where you'd come back from work and just, just, just terrorize the city. It was, it was great. You, they had some pretty awesome, uh, like, yeah, like that. Like, you know, like that shockwave smash. There was, it was so cool. There were so many things you could do in this game that were... That was just so much fun. And use like, yeah, like use posts as baseballs. Use like, um, or baseball bats. I, I, I mean, just, just completely just wreck your, your enemies. It was the most fun I think I've had in a very long time. Uh, this meter at the top right here was like your meter of getting caught, or even like you know just getting like the military to come after you, or the Hulkbusters or whatever. Um, hel helicopters, jets, stuff, stuff like that. You could like weaponize a uh, helicopter. Um, uh, like, missile ca cartridges and just, like, take it out and throw it at people. Uh, you can make steel fists out, out of cars. You, you, you can make, like, a, a, um, portable wrecking ball. It was very fun. See, look. Like, that, like, that was cool. And then you could just, like, beat the crap out of, out of, out of your enemies. Um, yeah, here, here comes the Hulkbusters here. You could, like, pick them up and, like, just ground smash them and shit. Um, some of the Hulkbusters got really hard to kill, and also if you, like, were... Oh, my, yeah, look. <laughs> this is just, like, an all-out, just destructive game. You could pick up that, uh, ball, and you could throw it at people. Like, a a a anything that was destructible, you could, like, pretty much kill things. And then the more destruction you did, like, the, the um... Yeah, like, th that move that he just did, you could do it multiple times. You could, like, ground smash people just for, like, hours just sitting there just ground smashing. Like, if they were to die, you could still keep them and still ground smash them. It was hilarious. So, this is pretty much like an all-out fun game if you're just willing to, like... If you just want to let your day out on, on a game or on, like, you know, M NPC characters. Or NPC characters, not not M. This, this was the game. It was so much fun. Um, yeah, Hulk Ultimate Destruction, definitely a, uh, top tier 
choice in my eyes. Definitely, definitely one of one of the better games. The reason why Splatter House got got a higher ranking, and they're actually kind of for me, they're on the same le- level. I, I would say because Splatter House had like the ultimate ability where you could like go and just like in the blood. I I love the gore and the blood. It's it was very good for for a 360. The the gore and blood in that in in the uh, Splatter House. Uh, Hulk Hunter Destruction's graphics weren't as good also as the Splatter House ones. And I also like the arcade style feeling of Splatter House. It was more. It, it kind of it was more fun for a longer period of time. Hulk Ultimate Destruction, the enemies got kind of difficult after a certain point, especially if you like up the the difficulty. It got, they got like crazy. They they did so much damage to you. Like one punch would take out like half your health if it was like a normal Hulk Buster. So it was just kind of annoying. But anyway, um, let's see. What's my number three? So I'm gonna I'm saying this is number three. Destroy all humans. But I'm saying the collection, including the remake. Destroy All Humans 1, 2, 3. I believe there was... Was there a fourth one? I don't think there was a fourth one. Let, let me double check. Um, humans 4? Four? 4? No, there wasn't. There was only, there was only three. So there was... There's three Destroy All Humans, and then, and then they remade the first one. A different company or different studio remade the first one. Um, God tier. Amazing game. Very fun. Let me see if I can get some like good gameplay for you, for you guys. Destroy All Humans. Let, 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 let me do Destroy All Humans 3. This was kind of trippy. This was like... I think this took place in the 70s or the 80s, I, I, I believe. The third one. Um, let's see... Straw Humans 3. Path of the Furon. You, you, you like go back to your home planet on, on, on this one. So, oh my god, this the, the graphics are so bad. Is this the best quality it has? Clipto. Let's see. How nice of you to come here. Crypto. Whatever. And Pox. Nice body. But if you think I'd let that hand wipe my backside, you got another. Enough. Oh, the quality's so bad on this. Come on, dude. He's got 500,000 views, on, though, on it. What the hell does that say about my my, my content? <laughs> this is just, like, a trailer, but... Um, this is, like, pretty much how, like, the game actually looks, like, in-game. In it's, it's really good. Like, you can... You, you can pick up people, you can pick up cars, you can even pick up tanks at one point if you upgrade your um, your, uh, your character enough. You have, like, tele telekinesis abilities, the guns are really awesome, there's, like, a probe device, there's a zapper device where you can, like, link to multiple en enemies. There's, uh, there's, there's, there's this gun, which is, like, kind of like a, um, like, like a disintegrator ray. The stuff that you can use in your saucer is pretty awesome, too. Throughout all of them, not just, like, one, two, and three. Um, the, sorry, I actually have to show you the, uh, the actual stuff here. Let me, let me go back a little bit. Um, but yeah, like there's like saucer. Oh, you can also play online too. It, it, it looks like um, in one of the, in, in the newer ones, which is kind of cool. Uh, but uh, yeah, there's like a there's like a there's a destructo uh, like device on the saucer. Um, there's uh, like in the third one, which is why I wanted to show you. In, in the third one, I believe there's um, like a mortar gun. You can shoot like you you have like. A couple of comets that come down, like mortars that come down, and then there's like a comet that comes down, like explodes and kills like a bunch of different stuff. It's great. Um, they, 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 they had some pretty wild guns in these games, and they also had Gizmo too, which is kind, of, which is kind of funny. Uh, he was like a little like device that you could shoot out. It was like a little saucer thing, and it would like you like on the ground, and you could shoot. It would come out, and it would like start shooting things, and, like do 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 do, and then you could like upgrade it to shoot faster, do more damage. I mean, you can, like, destroy things with that. Bosses and, and everything. But, um, yeah, no, this is, uh... The, the Destroy All Humans, especially the remake, is, is god tier. Like, they're they're still adding to the game itself. Um, which makes the game very, very fun. So, um... I, I, I hope that, uh... That they really do, um... Like, make, re even remake the second one and, and the third one, if possible. Because, uh... Those definitely bring brought into like you know modern times would definitely be a very fun fun experience. So there's that. Next up is actually prototype. 
Pro prototype, uh, this is also a collection, so there's, but there's, there's only two. This is the same creators that created Hulk Ultimate Destruction created the prototype franchise. I don't know if you knew that, but now you do. Um, this is the uh, Biohazard bu bundle. I believe you can buy this on like Xbox or whatever, or pro probably a anywhere that, that sells it. Uh, but that's Prototype 1 and 2. Now, a lot of people did not like Prototype 2, but I enjoyed it more because I was really focused on the mechanics of the game from Prototype 1. Like I said to myself, I was like, "What? you know it would be cool to use two abilities at, at, the, at the same time, and they actually put that in Prototype 2. Um, the, the Prototype 1... I was like, you know, it'd be cool if you could have, um, like, other infected fight with you. And in Prototype 2, they, they added that, where you could have, like, two of the, uh, I believe they're called Hunters. And you could, like, ha actually, it's either two or four. I think it might, I think it might be four. I, I might be wrong, but you you could have I I think you start out with like one or two, and then and then you can you can upgrade to four with like more damage and they like faster and stuff like that. Uh, but like that was really cool where they, you know, you could like call, you could summon them. I forgot how to summon them, but you could summon them and, and, and stuff like that. So let's, let's take a look at, um, some, a little bit of gameplay of prototype two, uh, proto, proto type two. This is the live action trailer. God mode. I never did this. Did they add? They probably added stuff since since I played this game. You, you, you can see that this is kind of like a very similar to. Um, oh no, Hyundai. No, nope, I don't want a Hyundai. Thank you. I'm good. Thank you very much. Let's see what we got here. It's gonna it's gonna load a second. Like you see how the mechanics are kind of sim sim similar to Hulk Ultimate Destruction of picking up people and stuff like that. You could like consume people to gain health back. Um, but let me see this God mode thing he's talking about. Global gaming, interesting. Like you could do like cool like executions in this too. You, you had some pretty awesome abilities in this game. And then again, like, this is the thing I was... Well, you can't see because my, my camera's in the way, but let's, let's move it real, real quick. Oh, he's not going to show it now. But you see, on the, you see on, the, on the left here, you see, like, all that stuff. This is... This is you can, you can have two abilities on playing at once, but in Prototype, you couldn't do that in the first one. So that's kind of... That, that, that was kind of amazing. Um, I believe you could pick up guns in this, too, and, like, get into tanks just like you could in the, in the first one. But, uh, yeah, like, there's, like, this, like, tornado thing. It's just, like, it was just a very fun, all-out, like, killing game. And it's just, like, you can you can cause some pretty crazy destruction havoc in, in, in this. Uh, there's also executions for, like, helicopters and stuff like that where you could, like, like, attach yourself to one side, attach yourself to the other, and just, like, pull yourself towards it. And you, like, put your feet out and you, you cut it in half. There's, this is the ultimate ability. Like, yeah. I mean, this... You get it gets pretty crazy. This 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 kind of stuff. You could jump pretty high. You could run really fast. You can probably I think you could run like a few hundred miles, like a couple, like a hundred or so miles an hour, or something something like that down the street. You, you could do that in, pro, in the first prototype, but um, yeah. Then they kind of come full circle in this game where they like, you know, where you kill the original character from from the first game. You consume him and stuff like that. So. They also have this bio bomb thing, which he's—I think—he's about to show us too. Like, you can pretty much like infect somebody, and then um, you if you if you like kick them into like a middle of a street. I don't know if it's gonna show it. Pro probably not. But but if you kick them in, into oh look, actually it did show him like going into the water. But but if you kick them into like a middle of a street of like a busy streetway or something, you can actually um, it like all these tentacles co come out and bring everything in like just just explode onto that thing that that you bio bomb. It's 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 so much fun. There's a lot of cool stuff about this game. These first these first three games are like top tier, top tier games. Like you don't want to miss out. Or actually, first four four games are really top top tier games, and you really don't want to miss out on like a lot of different stuff that these guys have. This is these are very fun games. If you like just kind of coming home and just letting your day out on, on like a video game, these four Splatterhouse. Hulk Ultimate Destruction, Destroy Humans, and Prototype are the best games to do that in. Now we're getting more into, like, after this, now we're getting more into kind of, like, the modern type of games and, um, you know, my opinions behind that. So, next is actually going to be Modern Warfare 2, 2, 2, 2009. And a lot of people, if you've been watching me for a while, you you know, right, 
like you know that this game holds a very close, you know, place in my heart. And um, this is the best Call of Duty out there. Like I don't care what you say, it is the best Call of Duty out there. For any of you that failed the quiz on my community tab, that's your fault. Modern Warfare 2 is the best Call of Duty. It had the best mechanics, it was the simplest game, it had the best kill streaks which again everything after that was all copy and paste a hundred percent there was nothing about that that was not cop copy and paste there there's so many different kill streaks even in the black ops series that were like that's the chopper gunner that's the ac-130 that's pretty much a chopper gunner um but like you know like like a model for three the, the reaper drone that was cool but that was like uh, that was like a uav recon with missiles on it that's that's what it is it, it's just that's all it is and it was pretty much like an AC. It was like a. It was like a bad AC one hundred and thirty. That's what it was. <laughs> but it was good. It was still a good kill kill streak. But I I could never kill anybody with it because maybe because I sucked because I'm bad at the game. Skill skill issue. Got it. Yep. Next, Modern Warfare three. Now this game is an amazing game. Okay, the follow up of Modern Warfare two. They actually did a little bit better. I like some 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 of the kill streaks that that they did. Like number one was the actually probably the best kill streak in my opinion was the um what was it called? It was it was the helicopter that that followed you. The only the downside of that is that people knew exactly where you were unless you were in like a double al alleyway or something. People knew where exactly where where you, where you were coming from because they saw the helicopter just hovering over you. But it literally that hurt my elbow so bad. <laughs> All right, um, but anyway, yeah, no, the um, the helicopter was it just it just, it just shit on people. It shit on people so hard, so hard. No, it shit on people so so hard, dude. It was it was crazy. That I I loved that um that chopper because it was just like dead, dead, dead. Especially people didn't have like cold blooded or ghost. I I think it was in that game. Oh man, that was an amazing time. That was so much fun. <laughs> Next on my tier list is going to be uh, Black Ops 3. Now, this I want to be very clear. Black Ops 3 was just zombies, okay, when, when I'm talking about this. I, the multiplayer was good. I enjoyed it. I know a lot of people are going to be like, yeah, Black Ops 2 is so much better. It really wasn't. The Black Ops 2 zombies were okay. They were okay. All right. The the Apothecary servant wasn't wasn't Black Ops three three zombies. How how do you ignore that? And there was the glitch in the first map in the Shadows of Evil map. Were you able to get that gun fully upgraded? And it actually had more ammo in that map when when, when it was glitched than when they put it into uh the sh um Revelations. That that was the name of the map when they put it in Revelations. So. It had like 30 something rounds more or something like that. And then it was like all of a sudden in Revelations it had like 20 or something. It was like shit. So, but that gun was so much fun. I mean, that 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 alone makes it a top 10, 100%. Then you had, you had the Zeus Cannon, which they which they remade. They, they, Black Ops 3 was like, one. I feel like the peak of zombies. Because yes, the health was infinite. So it kind of like was it like you needed to play Revelations to be able to actually get to a high level because the Apothecary ser Servant actually get, got it was you didn't need like it, it didn't take a million shots to kill one zombie. Like if you were in an area, you could actually spawn trap zombies pretty well and still survive. That's kind of what I did to get to like level 150 or whatever in like six hours. No, actually, it was 106 hours. It was actually 150 in like eight, eight hours. But it got really slow after 100, like really slow. Once you get to like 60, the zombies, they take so long to not only kill, but spawn. There's so many fucking zombies in and around, and you're only allowed like 23 at a time. That's why I, I had to like time it right. I, I, it took me a lot of attempts to get that right. It took me a lot of attempts to get that right. Like, I'd like figure out how many zombies to kill to like get all the zombies to just keep spawning throughout the round. And like, and then if I had to train for a little bit, that would cut my time, or not cut my time, but it would actually make my time longer to try to get through a round. Like after like after like wave sixty five or seventy, the zombies there were so many zombies to kill, and it took so long for them to spawn. Which I get it, because obviously the game's gonna crash if there's too many zo zombies and like an apothecary servant and animation go going off on, on my screen. But that's not the point. So Black Ops Two is mainly zombies. I just want to say that, and multiplayer was okay. I like the camos, I like the gameplay, but I also hated, like, the, you know, jetpacking shit that was kind of sim sim similar to Advanced Warfare. Now, 
Let's go. I could also do a Call of Duty tier, tier list too. You let me know in the comments if you want me to do that. Next is going to be the Gears of War fran franchise. Now, Gears of War holds a place, holds a special place in, in my heart. This is mainly towards Horde. Now, as you can see, I'm a very, I'm, I'm a very, I'm a PvP guy, right? So, Gears of War is in this tier list, and I keep that in there because that is pretty much going to be for the Horde portion of it, especially from Gears Five. Now, Gears Five Horde was very, very fun. Now, Gears of War was was fun. Like the Gears of War game was pretty fun. The campaigns were, were great. Gears of War one through f fucking what are they on six now? Got seven technically because they got Judgment Day and a couple in between. Very fun, but I love the new Horde game. The new Gears of War 5 Horde was the best, hands down, one of my favorite. Because it had the Fabricator. And the Fabricator was so much fun. Like, you could get all the different, you know, like... Well, the Fabricator was in, the, was in Gears 5 too, but... Um, the different classes was actually really, really fun about Gears 5. So that was one of my favorite things was the, was the classes being able to like have the different classes within Gears. It's like a no brainer after a certain point. You know what I mean? Like you're really just getting this to a point where, um, where you can, um, uh, sorry, I'm having some camera issues. There, there's one. What about two? That two? No. All right, we'll just we'll just stick with that one. It's fine. So yeah, we'll just stick with this one. Hopefully. So for some reason, my my internet just just went out. I'm not really sure why. I mean, I have like the best internet e ever. Clearly, I don't. So anyway, um, yeah, definitely a fun game. Horde itself was really really fun. I really enjoyed it. One of the major things about Horde that I actually enjoyed was again the classes they made all these different classes on the new one they made like a brawler where you can like punch you know you can like roadie run and punch things and tackle things and like pretty much explode them to get stim um the demolitions class which which is like an explosive class very fun um then they have like melee they have a couple different melee classes they have a couple different build classes too architect uh robotics expert one of my favorite classes is robotics expert um if you haven't played gears of war 5 horde i definitely rec rec recommend that um, but Gears of War franchise in general was really good, but this is more for like the horde portion because that's really what, what I do end up playing on like a daily basis. Um, so the division, this is the same thing. Um, the division, um, one and two, I don't think there's a third one yet. They might be making a third one, but the division one and two, uh, another collection, very fun game. If you haven't like, if you like looter shooters, probably one of the better games to play, um, Best of all time because I I, I I love the dialogue in the game. I, I, I love the abilities in, 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 in the Division 2. I don't... The one downside of playing the Division is pretty much... They force you into a certain play style based on the missions that, that you're on. So you kind of have to load out yourself with different... Um, like abilities kind of. So like your gear has to be either like tanky or attack based or um, like gadget based. Or what you could do is you could do like a mix between all three, which is tough to do. But um, the second one in gear in, in uh, the, the division two, I noticed that like more more and more missions were like forcing you to use like just your guns or whatever. And I'm like, I want to play as a mechanic or as a gadget person. I don't want to have to be like a tank thing to be able to defeat this enemy. That's why th that's why you kind of play with friends. But I, I don't I don't have any friends. So there's a problem there. Um, and that's why you play with friends and then they have like their tanky stuff or their attack thing or there's like another friend that's tanky, another friend that's attack and then you're like gears and stuff like that. Um, so, you know, it, it's it's a very fun game. It, def it definitely makes a lot of sense to like play and actually enjoy the time that you're playing it with, you know, with friends. Uh, the fact that you can play with friends actually makes it really, really fun and really enjoyable. Um... So anyway, let's go with the last one here, which is going to be World War Z. Um, this game had so much potential, so much potential. Um, World War Z, if you haven't already seen it, we'll do a little bit of gameplay here. Hopefully that my internet will be working. Um, this, this, uh, this game really was a very, very fun game. Um, I should put, I have to put the game cause there's a movie too. And also a book, but I also read the book too as well. Um, 
there's a trailer for Aftermath. Um, let's see if uh, oh, this is like an hour long. Let me let me see if I can like skip to like a good part. With my luck, watch. I'm I'm gonna go like right between a round. Watch. This 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 is similar to Horde though, in like Gears of War, like you have time in between rounds. Uh, but there's also like a campaign to it as well. Um, it's not just it's not like just the actual you know um, like Horde type of uh, sur like survival. There's actual like you know um, things to it, but. You know, you can, like, there's, like, different classes in this one that have super awesome abilities in them. So even even, even on, online, it's the same thing. There's a lot of classes that have different abilities on them. Um, you know, zombies pile up against, you know, uh, different structures, and you can rebuild the structures and stuff like that. And, and this this is in Horde. You can also do that um, in um, in the campaign mode as well, but it's not as pro prominent. You get to put down, like, like laser, like, uh, um, electric fences... Um, you can put down, you know, sentry guns and stuff like that. You can really build yourself out of base in, in Horde. Uh, but the campaign, you can, you can kind of do the same thing. But the campaign always follows the same thing. It kind of goes to, like, um, like you have to go through, like, a silent type of area and be quiet. I mean, you could go as loud as you want, but you also have the ability to be as quiet as, as, as you want. And, um, um, you don't, you don't have to, like, go crazy, but you can, and then you just have to, like, face off a bunch of... You know, like a horde of enemies, uh, if you do, do do that. But then there's also like the horde thing where you have to, where you can like, um, you can pretty much uh, like, it's kind of like this like horde, but it's like you face like a like a certain amount of zombies that come at you like in New York City or like uh, you know Japan or whatever uh, on like a ship in Tokyo and stuff like that. So. Um, yeah, it, it's 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 a very cool game, but there's so much potential that, that they could have done. They they've updated it since the last time I played it a, a lot, but I can't even play it on my Xbox One. So, you know the the Xbox that you see here, this doesn't really run it very well. This is like kind this is the this is like the original Xbox One. It doesn't run uh, World 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 War Z very very well anymore. So um, I'm kind of forced to like stop playing it. Uh, but you can have like explosive rounds. You can really, you can really. Uh, and there's also oh, there's heavy we we weapons too. You get like a giant machine gun. You get like a flamethrower. You get like a grenade launcher. Certain classes, you know, and, 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 a, and a sniper rifle. Certain classes do more damage with those things, or they start out with them and stuff like that. So um, it's a very fun experience, um, and it's something where if you if you haven't experienced this kind of World War Z type 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 of fun, if you have like a computer that's strong enough. Or even you know a console that's strong enough. I haven't played it on the new Xbox yet. I'm I'm, I'm assuming it's probably better on, on the new Xbox. Uh, but uh, there are some glitches in it. You know, there's with that's with that's with anything. But uh, yeah, definitely one of the definitely one of the best games uh, to play if you're into zombies. Uh, besides Call Call of Duty, at least in my opinion. So um, that's it for right now. I'm gonna end, end it there. And I want to say, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend. If you could like the video, share it with your friend, comment down below which one of these you guys like the most, or actually even comment down below uh, which you know maybe 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 you want to see a tier list for you know the Gears of War franchise, or maybe you want to see a tier list for the for the Call of Duty franchise. You you you, you let me know. I might just put that on the list any, anyway. But uh, definitely one of the coolest things is uh, kind of seeing all these games come to life and really enjoy playing them on like your day off or even if you're working a bunch so thank you very much and enjoy the rest of your weekend